you know, when I watch all the various blogs that I watch, blogs, blogs, whatever, I think to myself how interesting those people are, you know? Young and old alike, they all seem so interesting to me. And I think, where do they get all these things to talk about? I mean, they can just sit there and talk and talk and talk, and, and I think it's really interesting. But then I sit down to say something, and it's like, hey, 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 bah, 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 bah. nothing comes out. So would you like to hear about my trip to the Grand Canyon? I'll have to give it to you in installments. Well, I bought this car. It was a Fiat 124. And it belonged to a friend of mine, and it was his parents. The car had an uh, engine problem of some sort, and uh, the front grill was actually... Uh, from a refrigerator or, a, or something like that. It was really not so great. But the body was in good shape and the seats were in good shape. And I thought, well, I'll buy it and I'll fix it up. So I, I got the thing for 50 bucks and I drove it home and uh, looked uh, to see what I could do to try and fix that front grill. And I found another one just like it parked down the street, maybe 10 blocks from me. The back end of it had been smashed in in an accident. The car was sitting on the street. so. I went looking for somebody who owned the car to see if they wanted to sell the car to me. I thought, well, this is great. I can take the motor from that car, if it's any good, put it in the other one, cover the seats, cover the dash, put nice carpeting in it, and give it to my folks for a car. Because it was a little four-door, kind of boxy, a neat-looking little car. Well, I found the kid who owned it, and at that time, uh, he was telling me that if they didn't get it taken off the street, that the police were going to tow it away because it was an eyesore. So I said, well, I'll buy it from you. How much? He said, 200 bucks. Okay. So I said, I don't have any money right now, but you can store it at my place, and I'll swap engines with my car, and then I'll pay you in a month or so when, when I have the money. He said, good deal. He loved that car. It ran great, he said. So I took it home, put it in my car on my driveway, and uh, someone helped me, and we swapped the engines and the clutch, and I recovered the seats, and I recovered the dash, it was really fun to do. That dash looked like brand new. It was a, a 1967 124, by the way. Fiat. Did I say that? I don't know. So, in time, he came over to collect the 250, 250 bucks, and uh, he said, boy, I wish I had that car. I said, I'll tell you what, you cancel the 250 I owe you, and you give me $1,000, and I'll give you the car. And he said, yeah. So he bought the car from me for 1000 bucks. Well, I always wanted a Volkswagen bus. Currently I had a Volkswagen station wagon. So I saw one in the paper for a thousand bucks that uh, the guy rebuilt the motor. It had an engine fire. So I bought the VW bus. 1966 VW bus um, with a 1969 engine in it for a thousand dollars. And I thought, this is great. I can fix this thing up as the camper because it had the bed thing. It was like a seat and a table. And you could put a, a closet in it. And it was would have been it was gonna be great so I bought the thing for a thousand bucks and I did I built the whole camper thing inside of it put paneling in it and everything just like they did and when I got it done I thought well I gotta go on vacation now so uh, this girl that I knew her name was uh, Hallie and uh, her family had foreign exchange students all the time and she had this young guy named Ivar from Norway and I said to Hallie do you want to go to the Grand Canyon we'll take Ivar he was like 16 and a half, 17 ish, something like that. She said, That'd be great. And I said, I'm going to ask my mom to go. See, my mom had a business and uh, she hadn't gone on vacation in 10 years. I said, She can go with us to the Grand Canyon. We'll have a blast. She said, Yeah, that'd be great. So I did. I asked my mom and all four of us got in that old VW bus and we went to the Grand Canyon. So now, in a series of vlogs, I'm going to tell you about our trip. How's that? Well, this is the introduction. It went on a little long, so uh, we'll stop here, and we'll take it up again later. I'll be back to fill in the space. Sorry.